here we are Saturday 16th February another early start another ride out we're gonna try today because we've got some good weather we are gonna go to we've got an option between Harvington Hall Hartlebury Castle and Whitley Court that looks a lovely place that does so but we might try that got the drone today it's not as windy so should be able to get the drone up well it seems a bit uh, fresher this morning and we're going to try the new GoPro setting right we've made a little adjustment to this camera the GoPro session uh, what I've been finding recently is there's been quite a lot of blowouts so obviously with the camera facing me and you can see a lot of the bright sky behind me it was there was no detail to the sky it was quite washed out um, got some advice from Richie Vida and he told me a few settings to change so I've made those changes this morning and we'll see what happens we've got a bit of blue sky with some cloud so we'll just see if it picks out any detail hopefully it's a lot better I never used to have a problem before with this camera it always worked perfect but just recently for some reason it doesn't seem to like bright skies which is a bit odd <laughs> obviously the good old drift never have to do anything to it works perfect all the time every time Well, looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning. This is the first time properly out with a drone. I've tried it out quite a few times in the back of the garden. So let's see what we can get. I think we might try Hartlebury Castle first. Let's give that a go. And actually, there's something Hales Owen Abbey I found this morning as well might be worth checking them out um, the only thing is I think they're in the middle of a farm so I don't think the residents will be very happy if it's in the middle of the farm and I'll walk up on my bike with a drone oh, bit of a bit of a wriggle then on the white line come on sunshine come on I gotta say it does feel a bit uh, a little bit fresher this morning now I know the temperatures have got up quite a bit I mean, it's been glorious all week. We've been having 13, 14 degrees in the day compared to a couple of weeks ago where we was in the minus figures. But last Saturday was uh, quite nice going to Chateau Ibney. But today it does feel a little bit colder, to be honest. Got the Oxford Sports luggage with me today on the luggage rack. Didn't need the top box because I've not bought that much with me today so it would be a bit uh, spacious in there so I think the Oxford sports luggage is quite sufficient for today got my flask in there got the drone and my battery back up one thing I've got today I've got a bit of a sore throat today uh, now what I normally have to do around editing this footage on the other guys it's fine Richie's microphone is fine um, but he has got a bit of a girly voice so that ain't a problem for him uh, my voice is very deep so what I find on editing I have to turn the bass right down on my microphone the wife quite often says uh, I've got a bellowing voice it's like a fog horn um, so today with the sore throat I'd imagine 
my voice is um, a little bit more deeper so what I'll do as an example um, this bit now is my voice as it is recorded so as you can see it's probably quite a bit bassy quite a bit echoey and this bit is when I've turned the bass off so you can probably imagine if you've got some good old bass bins and my voice would certainly sound like a subwoofer although I do feel a bit more bunged up and a sore throat my nose doesn't seem to be running so I'm I think it's got something to do with the colder air well as I said I did, did say it feels colder today but my nose doesn't seem to be sniffly we've also got our new website is now live www.motorev.com um, we had the site before but what I've kind of done is I've stripped it back a bit I've basically put a few little photoshop fancy little images on there and just put the basic information on there and basically just strip back all the crap because you do find a lot of websites there's a load of nonsense on there you know we're four guys riding our bikes reviewing a few products got a few videos here just got a couple of images we try and help Ricky's last ride where we can that's really it so I'll kind of just condense that literally just to what I said and without all the fanciness in there so go and check it out I'll put a link up so you can see it and I'll try and a bit of a um, with a photoshop plane where where you get the black and white pictures and then there's just a few accents of colour picked out so what I try to do is just pick out the colours of the bikes and maybe just our helmets the ones on our head that is it's not that kind of website I'm also going to try this year probably uh, Easter time um, I've been trying now for a couple of years to talk the wife into doing her bike test she likes them she used to come on the back of my bike years ago when I had it I don't think I've convinced her yet so we're going to try this year now I've got the top box as I said I'm only 20-20 minutes away from Worcester our local campsite so I think uh, we're going to get get the tent on the back get the wife on the back and I said we'll just go and try one night I mean now we've got a, we've got a two-room caravan so obviously it's nice to have the luxuries and the heat and hot water but I said, you know, let's pretend, let's pretend we're young again. Let's go in the tent, just for one night. I mean, I don't mind it when we were out around the bikes uh, doing our tours. Uh, and I mean, you don't really need too many luxuries. And that's probably, I think, because because you're out riding the bike all day. You know, you spend quite a few hours on... Whoa! <laughs> you nearly had it, mate! <laughs> Damn! Uh, what was I saying? Right, yeah, because you're out... Um, oh, look at that. Because you're out... On your bike all day, you know, you're probably doing... Six, seven, eight hours riding. You know, it, it's, it gets quite tiresome on the body. So really, all you want when you get back to your tent... Is just somewhere to sleep. You don't really need all the luxuries, because it's guaranteed you will have a good night's sleep. I oh know, I like it, I enjoy it. It'd be nice to get one of those tents where you can actually get the bike in. That'd be brilliant, that would. She could sleep with me. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> you dickhead. A few bikers out this morning. I just want the camera because I seem to be having a, just a little bit of spray from the road on my visor so I'd imagine I've got it on the cameras I'll tell you what, fair play to these guys, Saturday morning their eggs, god there must be like 
what's his name out of Frozen? Is it Olaf? Olaf? Come on. White van. Oh, I look at that through the trees. It's hypnotising. Ooh. It's a joy, is a bit funny. Thank you, sir. Just make sure we've got the lenses clean. Just wipe them. Look at that fog there. <laughs> Just on the campsite. So we've recently made contact with the island biker. Uh, followed him quite for some time now on Instagram, watching his videos. Love what he puts out. The island he lives on looks absolutely beautiful. Some of the footage he puts out of those roads. I mean, like, you know, we come from Birmingham. We'll get a couple of miles of this road. That guy's got, like, an island full of them. Some of the, the pictures he puts out, oh, man, they're fantastic. So, guys, go and check out the island by cap. You've got some great footage out there. Now, I think we are here. Somewhere, I think it is just here, is where we enter Hartlebury Castle. There it is. Okay, let's have a look what this has for us. It's always a good sign when there's a drive up to it. Just like there's no gate and it's locked. I can see some gates. Wow, that looks nice. Right, let's have a look at the place. I'll take it, that's it over there. Look at that there.
So this year, me and the main man, Goose, Rich, we are going to the Walbad Weekend 2019, which is on, as you can see on my phone, Friday the 26th of July to Sunday the 28th. And this is not going to be your normal camping weekend Walbad put on, um, which watching the videos of the others, they all look fantastic. This time, Mr. Voida has taken it up quite a few notches. So, let's have a look what we get. So, on the Friday evening, we have a real treat with award-winning, authentic, wood-fired pizzas. So, they're going to be making pizzas there. And Richie Voida's band will be playing on the night. On the Saturday, a Derbyshire breakfast and evening meal is provided. Four meat hog roast with trimmings including pasta, salad, potatoes. So that's breakfast and evening meal. Again, followed by evening entertainment. Sunday morning, Derbyshire breakfast and then you make your way home. The Wild Bad Village. The Wild Bad Village. Mm -mm. So, we are pleased to mention we have a very large marquee this year. The Wild Bad Village. Fully stocked and staffed a bespoke bar, photo video area, merchandise stands, stage, band area, photographers, videographers will be on site to capture the whole event. And maybe a special guest or two. So this looks like it's going to be a fantastic weekend. So we're quite looking forward to that. That will be quite good. Right, OK, let's go. On the way home, actually, we will pop. We will pop in just past Harvington Hall. Just have a quick look. And we'll try and do that next week, next Saturday. Next Saturday or Sunday. Well, let's just check. I have forgot anything. No, we're good. Well, da -da 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 -da. let's just have a little drive up to it. And this is Hartlebury Castle. I'll pull a link up to their website so you can read all about it and the history. Okay, let's go. Let's set up the footage just turned out better on this GoPro with the settings we've made. Sorry, changes to the settings we've made. This looks nice. 
So this is Harvington Hall. I think this would be nice for the drone as well. Yeah, we're going to have to come back here next week, I think. Wow. That looks beautiful. I think what we'll do when we come next weekend I think over there is a car park I think I'll go over there actually set the drone up from over there lovely right let's turn around Harvington Hall it is your turn next weekend Please do not walk on the lawn. <sighs> okay then. So we've managed to get quite a few camping weekends in this year. We've got a couple booked. We've got the wall bad weekend there. So let's just hope we get some decent decent weather this year. So next week I think Harvington Hall will come and pay you a visit. Obviously as I said we need to get there early before everybody turns up. Time to go home now. The kids want to go to the trampoline outlet. Well, they're going to bounce around mental for the next hour. And so far, yeah, it's... All four of us, I've got these pack talks, Cardo pack talks. But we haven't actually been out yet as a group to actually try them with this DMC mesh. I know we went out at Christmas and me and Rich had them connected. Uh, but so far, we haven't done a four-way. <laughs> well, as in talking, that is. We're expecting to see a few more bikers out this morning. <coughs> With weather like this. few bikers there and there's me just saying where's the bikers where's the bikers Jesus it's a bit close we got to go out by the ambulance well thanks for watching see you next weekend for Harvington all. <laughs>